morning, I'm Scoop Schnozman, and I've got a nose for news. In tonight's top story, Zanytime Chemical Company has responded to an outrageous report that their best-selling Susie Snoozelot doll is unsafe. In their statement, they say, Dear valued customers, if you own a Susie Snoozelot doll, you are in no danger. As long as you take the following precautions. Do not baby talk around Susie. Do not feed Susie after midnight. Do not look directly at Susie in the eyes. Do not shake, touch, or come within 10 feet of Susie. Do not refer to Susie as Schmoopy Moopy. Do not think about Susie on Thursdays between 1 and 3 p.m. Children under the age of 52 should not play with Susie. Prolonged contact with Susie may cause itching to your skin and kidneys. Susie is not intended for indoor or outdoor use. If Susie begins speaking in Latin, stop playing with her immediately. Susie should be kept at temperatures between 30 and 30.1 degrees Fahrenheit. If Susie's eyes begin to glow and smoke comes from her ears, apologize to her and call customer service at 555-5555. And in other news, authorities now believe that the red panda who escaped from the zoo last year is avoiding them by posing as a... And now, a word from our sponsors. Zany Time Chemical Company, Zany Time Chemical Company. Timmy, you are not going to believe what I found on my way to the JTS studio. David, oh no, where did you get that from? It's crazy. For the entire drive here, people were just throwing these out of their house, like as fast and as far as they could. It's crazy. They're just giving them away for free. That's because they're dangerously defective. Defective? No way, they're so cute. Isn't that right? Susie, you're so cute. Aren't you, you little schmoopy moopy? It's amazing, Timmy. I filled my entire car up with these dolls. Then, when I got here, I took your car and I filled it up too. What? My car too? Oh yeah, filled it up from the floor to the roof, from the roof to the floor, from front to back, your whole car is filled with Susie Snoozelot dolls. David, you have to be way more careful with that thing. And we've got to get rid of it before it destroys the studio. Destroys the studio? Timmy, it's a little bitty baby doll. Uh. What's going on? That's what I was trying to tell you. Okay, stay calm and don't look her in the eyes. According to the news, you need to apologize to Susie while I call Zany Time customer support. 555-555. Thank you for calling Zany Time Chemical Company. If you're calling for replacement parts to the Prayer Booster 5000, say one. If you're calling because you've glued your hand over your mouth, say if you're calling for help because your Susie Snoozelot has entered self-destruct mode, say... Ah! Ah! Please hold. You're currently number... 3,400,000. In line. Your wait time is approximately... 27. Years. 27 years? We don't have that much time. No way. We've got to do something fast. David, grab that basket. Let's go, Timmy. One minute later. Well, David, I think it's fair to say we'll never be seeing Susie snooze a lot again. Yeah. No thanks to the Zany Time customer service. What good is a helpline if it takes you 27 years to get through? Seriously, could you imagine if God's helpline took that long to get through? Wait, what do you mean? Since when does God have a helpline? Uh, and what's the number? No, it's not a phone number. You don't call it. God's helpline is prayer. And the best part is there's no wait time. If you're ever in trouble, you can pray to God and he'll hear you immediately. Does he do texting too? Well, sort of. The Bible is kind of like one really long text that God sent us a long time ago. In fact, 
part of his text to us is about prayer. Hey, you know what? We should read it. For sure. Let's do this. In just a second, press pause on the video. Then open your Bible and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, press play and we'll see you back here. Isn't that so cool? I mean, I knew you could pray to God when you were in trouble, but these verses talk about all kinds of other reasons to pray. Yeah, it says you should also pray if you're happy or if you're sick or if you've sinned. But honestly, you can pray about anything, anytime, anywhere, and God is going to hear you. That's so true. And here's something else I noticed in those verses. Prayer isn't just something you do for yourself. It's something you do for other people. For example, when James was talking about people who have sinned, look at what he said. So confess your sins to one another. Pray for one another so that you might be healed. James 5, 16. You're right. He said, pray for one another. You see, praying to God is a way we can help each other. It's a way we can support the people around us. Yeah, we all face trouble sometimes. Like, for example, maybe you also have a self-destructing doll made by a chemical company. Or maybe not, David. Maybe it's a different problem. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or maybe a different kind of problem. But a lot of times, those problems are too heavy for us to handle on our own. That's why God wants us to lift each other's troubles in prayer. In fact, I want to show you what I mean with a little challenge. Awesome! How's it gonna work? Simple. I'm going to put this rock on the desk. All I have to do is try to pick it up by myself. Are you serious? Isn't that supposed to be a challenge? Well, it will be when I've got tiny hands. David, what in the world just happened to your hands? They're tiny now. I'll say they are. You look ridiculous. Hey, let's do a knock-knock joke. You start. Okay, that's weird, but knock-knock. I said knock-knock. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear your tiny hands knocking on the door. Ha-ha, <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. Here we go. Gonna give it another try here. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Ah. Uh, that didn't work out so well. No, it was way too heavy to lift by myself. Uh, no worries, though, because now you've got tiny hands, too. What? Oh no, my beautiful hands. What have you done to them? Don't worry, they'll go back after the challenge. In the meantime, let's try to lift this rock together. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three, go! go! Okay, come on, here we go, here we go. Get, get under the rock. So far away. I know, here we go. Oh, oh, okay, ready? Get, get your hand on the Get used to these. Oh, oh gosh. Man. Oh, 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 one, two, three, four, five! We did oh, it! We're done, we're done! Yeah! Hey, my hands are back. I missed you guys. Never leave me again. Uh, all right, that's kind of weird. You can stop now. Did you see that, though? I mean, imagine this rock was some kind of problem or trouble. It was too big and heavy for either one of us to lift on our own. But when we came together, we were able to lift it up to God in prayer. I love that. It's a good reminder that we're not alone. It's okay to pray by yourself and for yourself, but God has also given us a community of people who wanna lift us up in prayer. Totally. That makes me think of a question though. Is there something you need prayer for right now? What is it? 
Press pause. And discuss. And after you discuss, you weren't expecting that, were you? Take some time to pray for each other. Yeah, when you're done, we'll see you back here. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you had an incredible time of prayer. Sometimes we forget that God has given us people who love us and want to help us with our troubles. Yeah, God has surrounded us with people who want to pray for us. So if you're struggling with a sin, you can confess it to them. Yeah, and if you're sick, you can tell them about it. If you have some sort of trouble, you can let them know so they can lift you up in prayer. That's right. And when you love and follow Jesus with your whole heart, your prayers are powerful and things happen because of them. Amen. Hey, everybody. I hope you had a blast hanging out with us. For sure. I, I know we did. We love you guys. God loves you. Your church loves you. And we can't wait to see you again. Yeah, let's do it again next week. Until then, bye, everybody. Bye. Hey, Ricky. Hey, I just saw a red panda on the news who looks just like you. They said he's pretending to be a raccoon. <laughs> Can you believe that? Uh, oh, wow. Uh, how, how weird. Well, I, I don't know nothing about no escaped red panda from the zoo. But I've been meaning to talk to you guys about throwing your trash in my house. Ricky, you live in our dumpster. That, that's where we're supposed to throw our trash. Yeah, but this one's freaking me out. You can have it back! Oh. Ricky! No! no.